Hello everyone, this is the A from E Academy and today we will talk about our upcoming series on the course of finite element method. In this course there will be main topics that we will discuss. The very first is direct method, the second one is variational method and variational methods are basically of two types. The one is of the strong form and the other one is of the weak form. And the weak form is uh, basically known as the Riggs method. Uh, the full form is the Rayleigh Riggs method. And the strong form, uh, there are basically four main techniques that we use in the strong form. Uh, the very first is Galerian method, uh, methods, location methods, and etc. Uh, definitely we will cover the topics in individual videos uh, after using the variational methods or after seeing what is in the variational methods we will be in our final method that is the finite element method and we will write it as FEM throughout the course the course is basically designed in such a way so, so as to see how to solve problems uh, or we can say that specific problems with different techniques and uh, meanwhile we'll see how important it is to use finite element method uh, because why we have to see the direct method why we have to see the weak form the strong form and then we will uh, be in the finite element method in the end we will definitely realize your picture of getting towards FEM so definitely we'll start with the direct method that is the basic method is solve a structure problem or bar problem um, that more roughly has six steps we'll discuss them in detail in the next video uh, we will solve the problem uh, while taking all of the six steps of the direct method and see what is in the step and why this is known as the direct method and how it is different from uh, variational and fem after completing the direct method we will see what is the variational method definitely in the variational method we have two main divisions weak and strong in this we will use differential equations we will use integration in order to weaken the differentiability in the weak form and strong form says that we don't need to weaken the differentiability so we will use uh, different methods here in order to figure out the solution of the differential equation basically in all of these steps we have to look towards the solution of the differential equation uh, and all of these steps are basically designed to get the more appropriate because we all know that the numerical methods are basically designed to approximate the solution of a differential equation so these all are basically inspired from the numerical methods and the well familiar method or well um, correlated method with the finite element method is the finite difference method that is is very famous in the numerical techniques and what is different here in the element method with the difference method is that we are using difference equation instead of differential equation in this but here we are not using the difference equation but we are using the actual differential equation in order to find the approximate solution of the differential equation why I am focusing on the word solving a specific problem because any good theoretical courses of finite element method of there so the main focus of this is how to solve practical problems with the different techniques so in the next video we will see how to solve a problem with the direct method and what are the importance of each and every step of this uh, direct method so if you are looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye